Lord, hallelujah. Lord, we commit this service into your hands, Heavenly Father. Father, we thank you for the opportunity, O oh God, to come together as a family, as a church, as a family of God. Lord, thank you for the time that you have given us. Always give us the time, O oh God. Fix our schedules, O oh God. All and every one of us, Lord, fix our schedules. Make Friday, O oh God, to be an open day for us as all. To enable us, Lord, to honor you, to worship you, to come to the church, to glorify your name, to listen to the word of God, to be anointed by the Holy Spirit, to be healed by the name of Jesus Christ, to receive the wisdom from the word of God. Lord, thank you for making Friday to be an open day for all of us, Father. Lord, we commit the message into your hands. Speak to your people, O oh God. Open our spiritual understanding, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we believe we receive the wisdom from the Father, from Jesus, from the Holy Spirit. We believe we receive, O oh God, and we decree and declare we will put to practice everything we hear today in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody say, Amen. Give it praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How's everyone today? Did you connect to the Lord? Amen. This is true worship. When we worship, praise God, we need to connect to heaven. So that the anointing will flow on your body, on your spirit, on your mind. Amen. Raising the hands is not just only a tradition. It is a sign of worship. Surrender. Praise thanksgiving to God. So don't be shy to raise your hands. Amen. These are all biblical. The Bible says all the, new, the, the Old Testament people, they raise their hands and worship God. We just don't have the place. Amen. They bow down, kneel before God and raise their hands and honor and worship God. Why? God is Almighty Father. He deserves all the honor and glory and praise. Wala tayong dapat ikahiya dyan. Yan po, doctrine ng demon, yung ikinahihiya ang hindi pagtas ng kamay. And they don't want to sing. The Bible says, Let everything that has breath praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Sing before the Lord. Dance before the Lord. Praise God. Kahit nakaliwa pa mo, sumayaw ka. Amen. 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 So Lord, pantayang pa mo. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, everybody should be raising their hands. It's a sign of worship and surrender to God. Amen. Amen. Give Him praise. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Message for today is we will be studying the parable of the rich young man or the rich young ruler. That's in Mark chapter 10. Praise God. Verse 17 to 31. Jesus says, Man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that comes out from the mouth of God. Meaning to say, we need spiritual things. We need the word of God to feed our spirit. You are spirit living inside your body. When your body dies, your spirit comes out. Goes to heaven or to hell. You don't have any relationship with Jesus Christ. All the people here will go to heaven. I think they are saying yeah. to that. Yeah. All the people here will go to heaven. Yes. Amen. Amen. Nobody wants to go to hell. Don't be lazy. Come to the church. Amen. Your laziness will bring you to hell. Once you are in hell, we cannot pray out no makalabas kayo. No. Wala na kayong chance. Amen. Amen. Let's make sure now we make it to heaven. Praise God. Everything is nice and pure and clean and righteous and holy in heaven. It's a good place. Wala nang stress doon, wala nang worry and fear. Praise God. Everything is free Amen. in heaven. Amen. 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 Every end of the month, kuryente lang, nagre-reklamo tayo. Hello. Sa heaven, wala tayong babayaran ng kuryente. Amen. 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 Tataas ang kuryente. Huwag ka mag-aircon. Tataas ang kuryente. Pwede nang pamaypay ka na lang. Amen, guys. 
Discounted na tayo. Kinocover nga ng church ang part na expense natin dito eh. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Amen. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm really ready. I'm really ready. Ask your neighbor, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Left and right. Okay, let's do it. Say, I'm blessed. I am blessed. In the name of Jesus. I am truly blessed. In the name of Jesus. I am healed. I am happy. Healthy. Wealthy. And wise. In the name of Jesus. I am highly favored. In Jesus' name. I am victorious. I am a success. All the works of my hands are blessed. In Jesus' name. My family is blessed, my job is blessed, my business is blessed, everything I do is blessed. In the name of Jesus, I bless my body, I bless my organs, I bless my future. In the name of Jesus, today I will listen to the word of God. Therefore, I will be blessed, you will be blessed beyond measure. In Jesus' name. Amen. All those watching by television, you are blessed also Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I want to shake hands with your brothers and sisters. Give them a big smile and tell them thank you for coming today. I expect you next week. I expect to see you next week. And be blessed again. Amen. You are all children of God, so be Amen. consistent in your relationship with God. Amen. Salvation is not based on your goodness. Amen. Salvation is based on relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Tandaan niyo po yan. It's not based on your goodness. Oh, mabait naman ako. I am, I'm good anyway. I'm not a, a drug lord. I'm not a drug dealer. I'm not a drug art. No, no. It's not the basis. The basis is your relationship with Christ. Do you have a relationship with Jesus Christ? Amen. That's the basis of salvation. We receive salvation by faith. Amen. It's a grace of God. Salvation is a grace of God. It's a result of the grace of God. But we receive it by faith in Christ Jesus our Lord. So when you have Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you receive God's grace of salvation, love, good, peace, and everything. Because everything is in Christ. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, let's begin. <clears throat> Mark chapter 10, verse 17. As Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him and said, Good teacher, he asked, What must I do to inherit eternal life? You see, as we can see, people, even during those days, know that there is an eternal life. And they are concerned about receiving eternal life. These days, people don't know that they have eternal life, that there is an eternity after we die. They don't know it. This is the reason why people don't care about coming to the church. They don't care about having a relationship with God anymore. Why? Because they're thinking is when I die, I'm dead, kalas, finish. Everything is finished. No, that's wrong. When you die, you enter into a new dimension. You enter into a new dimension, spiritual dimension, and you might go up or down, you do not know. That's the real truth. Death is only a doorway to another life. Uh, those relatives who died, our relatives who died, they are not dead actually. They might be in heaven or suffering in hell if they don't have received Christ as Lord and Savior in their life. They are in hell. I'm sorry to say that. It is not me who said that. It's the Bible who said that. So here, a young man come to Jesus, bend his knees, and ask Jesus, Lord, what shall I do? Please tell me I want to receive eternal life. What shall I do to receive eternal life? This is the most important thing. What must I do to receive eternal life? This is the first question to Jesus. Our old people, our parents, they are not concerned. Well, if I die, I'm dead. You know, you, 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 you bring me there, take the bones of your father, and, and, and you know, put it together with my body. They're concerned about the bones. They're not concerned about the eternal life. 
the bones will become soil, dust. There's nothing on it. The most important thing is the spirit. You are spirit living in your body. Your bodies are just shells. Without spirit, the Bible says, the body is dead. Without spirit, your shell, your body, your container is dead. The body is just a container of the spirit. So we must take care of our spirit. Your spirit is the real you. When you die, you can still see, see things. You will close your, your eyes, this body will close your eyes, and the spirit will come out, and you will see your body. Oh, what happened? You're dead already, you don't ask what happened. You're dead, if you see your body out there, and you are here, you're dead already. Now, the question is, who will come to take your spirit? The demons or the angels? <coughs> if you don't have a relationship with Christ, the demons will come right away and take your spirit and bring you to hell. Fire. Lake of fire inside a volcano. That's hell. But if you have relationship with Jesus Christ, you give your life to Christ and you start serving Jesus Christ and you die, the angels, you know, your, your spirit will come out of your body and the angels of Jesus will take your spirit and bring you to heaven, to paradise. And you will see the prophets and the good people out there. Heaven is a good, nice place. It's a big place. There are mountains and rivers. Heaven is the picture, actually, the earth is the picture of heaven. Replica po yan. Not heaven. So those people who are in heaven, they're enjoying life. They're there in heaven. They have no stress, no financial problem. <laughs> they have their own houses out there. So while we are still here, listen to me. All of you listen to me. Serve God. Make sure you make it to heaven. Because once you're dead, wala na. That's all finished. You cannot resurrect your own body. Only Jesus can do that. But you yourself, you cannot resurrect your own body. You are a spirit. You're floating in the air. And then the angels will take you, or the demons will take you. It's either. I don't like the demons to take my soul. You don't like the demons to take your soul and bring it to hell and punish your soul there forever. This is the reason why we're doing everything to save every single soul. We're doing everything to save every single soul. We invite people to come into the church. We train them, we disciple them, we strengthen them. So that they won't fall into hell. We do everything to save souls. January 6, we'll have another family reunion in the Philippines to save the soul, the spirits of your loved ones. You must be concerned also about your loved ones. If you don't, you know, if you're not concerned about them, they will go to hell. Don't want your parents to go to hell. They will be there forever. They'll be there forever. They will not die. They'll be there forever. Because spirit don't die. They'll burn forever. So, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before Jesus and says, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? They know that there is eternal life. Now we are so blinded by so many material things, by the technology. Mayroon tayo mabuhay na walang hawak na iPhone sa kamay. Sinyap tawag niyo ba yung iPhone niyo? Ako baka may tumawag sa church. Your salvation is more important than your iPhone. Amen. You will leave your iPhone when you die. Hello? Amen. You cannot bring your iPhone. 
tao kung pinapanood niyo dyan is the Word of God and the preaching, that will be fine. A little bit later, I'll be putting words of God out there in the internet so you can feed your spirit every day. I just don't have time now. I have a job, I have a full-time job, and I'm pastoring here. We have so many activities in the church. We're always, you know, our time is always full. You know, when you write those kind of stuff, you must be rested and spirited also. But after I retire, you will expect me to write everything every day, and you will see me live in Facebook. Yeah. I'll be with you every day. Yeah. And I will watch you. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'll be there to take care of your soul, your spirit. Amen. I'll protect you by feeding you with the Word of God every day. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And I'm going to give you meat. Not milk, meat. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we can see some in the iPhone right now, but they're all milk. We need meat. Amen. We need to teach people how to be proactive in the spiritual area. 